Welcome to my little Hanoi vlog. I am super excited to be posting this vlog and I hope that you guys have a good time watching the vlog. So my friend and I, since we were doing the Hajiang loop, we only had a couple of hours, not a couple of hours, but we had less than a day in Hanoi and this is what I and what we got up to. So we obviously first started at the airport at like 3 in the morning. It was really rough. But yeah, once we got on the plane at around 6.30 I think. And we started our trip to Hanoi. Which was like a 1 hour and like 45 minute flight from Saigon. Please ensure that your seatbelt is fastened. Your seat bag is upright. Your tray table is stored. Your window shade is open. And refrain from using the lavatory during this time. These trips made me realize how much I actually love flying or how much I love being in the air and just traveling to new destinations. It has completely opened up a new realm for me, a new possibility for me and I honestly just want to be traveling all the time. I literally landed and I'm just like, okay, I want to get on a plane again, but it's just really exciting and it's opened up a whole new world for me and yeah, I'm just really, really excited. I love being in the air, although it's like super uncomfortable when the plane is like lifting off or landing, but yeah, I love it. Hanoi is the capital city of Vietnam and it has some differences, it's really subtle differences from Saigon but it was really charming and quaint but I don't think I would personally live in Hanoi because I am now used to like the hustle and bustle of Saigon. Say hi to the camera B! <laughs> We are in Hanoi and like these little helmets are considered helmets. They're caps, they're not even helmets. Some people aren't even wearing helmets. super close and crammed and yeah there's just not a lot of space to walk on the sideways because there's just like a ton of bikes but yeah it's really cool and I just got like a little wallet thing very cute there you go of course our first stop after checking into our hotel was to get some food and my friends are always such good sports because we always have to find a vegan restaurant for me to eat in but we found this really cute one it was just on um along our way from the hotel we were just looking for places to eat and this break just happened the, to be the first it. one that we found and yeah it had well the food was actually subpar honestly to be honest but yeah i wouldn't go back but it was worth the experience Vegan. 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 One. Mine, which is pan-fried mushrooms and some noodles and I don't know. After our meal, because we, have, we had a finite amount focus. of time in Hanoi, we decided to check out this lake, which was really, really beautiful and really vast. But as you can see, there's a bridge across the lake and there's actually like a temple behind the trees that you can't actually see but you had to pay for it and we were on a budget and we were like we're not gonna pay to go into the temple we can just appreciate the view from where we were but yeah the streets were really charming and quaint and it it was actually really cute because it was much quieter than Saigon and we just found the book street of course in Hanoi so cool it's like the one in a Saigon but B doesn't want to go because she's tired. So, bye, Book Street. That'll actually 
also probably be help me save money because I would definitely buy like a book on impulse as an impulse purchase so thereafter we visited the prison museum and it always blows my mind how forgiving and compassionate the Vietnamese people are what a beautiful country with amazing people we visited the museum and we had some tour guides where you can get like um, headphones with a tour guide basically in your ear that guides you through all of the different rooms in the prison this is where the US pilots were kept during the war so they were imprisoned here but it was more of called the Hilton Hotel because of how humanely they were treated by the Vietnamese people and they had really good lives compared to what the Vietnamese prisoners were having in prisons. Welcome to our very tiny hotel room. We're literally here for like a couple of hours. Literally, like, <laughs> literally bumping into the suitcase. <laughs> it's that tiny. We are going to like take a nap. Um, yeah, we are going to take a nap for like a couple of hours and then we'll go to the train street and then we'll be catching our bus to go to Hajian, which will be an overnight trip so yeah this is the famous Train Street in Hanoi. As you can see, there's cafes all around the trees. It's just super cool. And we're literally just following this lady. Uh, <laughs> the tree pulled off the bike and just following her because that's like the only way to get in. It's by following people into the cafes because you can't just like come in. It was actually really cool because once you're on the train street, it's literally people's homes. People live along that train street. And the only way, like I said, to get access into it is if you follow one of the people, the homeowners or the cafe owners, into the street because there are security guards at both ends. So you have to follow them. Then they will seat you at their home or cafe. And it's just really interesting because I was sitting down and literally just watching people, a family, just go on about their daily life. And yeah, it was pretty cool though to experience. And of course, what is a tourist attraction without having local vendors trying to sell you things? So of course, the train street was no difference. There were vendors at every corner trying to get us to buy stuff and of course i never go anywhere without my headphones because that just helps me like block out so much of the noise and i can still be in my own little world and not be so like socially awkward because i'm like traveling alone and i went to the hill to the train street alone actually because we was really tired and she wanted to sleep so i actually just went solo and like i said having headphones helps me so much Just like, let's go walking! But I don't actually 
even know if this is the right way to the hotel or not. all the way to the hotel then later we wanted to try some famous egg coffee in Hanoi so she found the best cafe to do that in and like in Vietnam you always get cafes that are like in dingy alleys or like literally in people's homes and you have to walk up and you will pass literally families just chilling and you, you just awkwardly walking up the stairs to get to the cafe but it's always like a hidden adventure because you don't know what you will find or what to expect i guess that is the sense of thrill in finding cafes in vietnam but anyway when we got to the cafe it was empty but doesn't matter it was still really cute and b got to try her egg coffee You can't come to Vietnam and not try the very famous egg coffee. But I obviously can't have it because one, I don't drink coffee. That's just a personal choice. And two, the egg coffee, like the frost on top is made from egg have yolk. Have you tried it before? So I can't drink it. This was actually the best bowl of pho that I have eaten since I've moved to Vietnam. It was absolutely amazing. I literally dreamt of that pho for like the whole two weeks after this. It was really, really yum. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. But we ended up having a conversation with like the family that's sitting next to us. And there was a guy that walked in a bit later. And we just, everyone in the restaurant just was having a group conversation it was actually like a really 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 cool experience but i didn't get to film it because we were just really enwrapped in the conversation and i really enjoyed being able to have a conversation with a bunch of complete strangers and to just share experiences and memories and for it to literally go nowhere for it to just be a conversation that lasts in that time of space and everybody goes on with their lives
Vietnam has a great range of sleeping buses where you can literally be on a bus for like eight to ten hours or however many hours and you have a really nice space for you to just chill and it has so many amenities in it it was awesome but anyway thank you for watching my video of my vlog in Hanoi and I sure do hope to see you guys soon again bye